Two AL Central rivals. It's the Minnesota Twins against the Chicago White Sox. It's the MLB on 2K Sports right now. Will they be able to limit the bat of Carlos Quinton? Well, we're going to find out. We're set to go. U.S. Cellular Field, always a delight to watch a ball game here in the home of the White Sox. It's looking like what you've been waiting for. 2K Sports and Major League Baseball, a September showdown. We're going to see Mark Burley pitch. Steve, he's facing the Minnesota lineup today. Tell us his thoughts. Now Mark Burley has made a living on working quickly. He tries to keep the hitters off balance, and he works at his own pace, which is quick. It keeps the defense in the game behind him, and he throws all of his pitches for strikes. Here's a look at Ron Gardenhire's lineup presented. Well, Twins losing their last game. So after dropping game one of three in this series, they'll be trying to notch one against Chicago. Good pitch from Burley, swung on and missed. Looking at that outing, they really uh, unable to stop an onslaught. Yeah, and that onslaught contributed to that six-run loss. Ground ball up the middle, fielded by Ramirez. So Span is set down. And it's Delman Young at the plate. Pitch from Burley swung on and missed. Hit up the middle. Oh, that'll move you on the mound. He just barely got out of the way. And he pulls into first base with that base hit. There's one down here. Well, a little action going right now for this team. A single here with one out. Little bit of momentum. Let's see if they can bring him across. And here's Joe Mount. Takes that first pitch low in the strike zone, strike one. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. And that's a strike. Mauer now will cover that plate with that big bat. Pitch on the way. Lines this one to the left side out of play. Hit hard to second. He grabs it off the hop. Gets one at second. Now over to first and safe at first. Close play, not quite enough time to get him. And it's Michael Kadaya in the box now. Swings and misses the good change right there on one. He deals. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. And there's the third out. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. And the White Sox, their first chance is coming. Minnesota starters on the mound. Here's a look. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? As a manager, we send Nick Blackburn out to the mound. You know you're going to get a competitor. He's going to give you an effort out there. He's a guy that really goes at the hitters. His slider is his put away pitch. To be most effective, though, he has to get strike one. And it's Johnny Damon right there in the top five in home runs. That swung on line towards the gap in left center. Well, that's a good start. First batter, first hit. The throw. Damon hits the third. Safe at third. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense. And somebody they've really come to rely on. RBI situation, Alexei Ramirez. One of the best batting averages in the league. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 and 1. Again, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate, day in and day out. That consistency is critical to their success. Ramirez will foul that one away. Fastball swung out and missed, struck him out, one away. With two strikes, the hitter wanted the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. Runner over third, one down, Paul Konerko. He's the league leader in ribbies. The pitch. Out in front on that one, strike one.
Ball. And Paul Canerco watching that one go by to even the count up. Batting just a 138 against Nick Blackburn. Swings at that 1-1 one -one pitch. Fastball by him. Strike two. Well, I tell you what, for a two-seam fastball, he had some good movement and good pop You're on that one. Batter swung late. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. Number 20. Let's take a look at the 12-6 curveball. Taking Carlos Quinton at the plate with two away. He's number one in runs scored in the league. It's fouled away. The strike two pitch, and Blackburn gets him. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense, is somebody they've really come to rely upon. That one's low. Quentin does not go after. But if you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, out. it's a ground ball out. Well, that half inning uh, came to a close. A strikeout ended it. So Nick Blackburn getting it done. An impressive start. He tallies three strikeouts. That should motivate those. And Kubel's in the box. He'll start us out here in the second. Number 16, Jason Kubel. Strike one. The OO delivery of fastball taken for a strike. Sometimes you get a pitch, and if it's early enough in the count, you can just say, not this one. I'm going to wait for the next one. Nope, that one not in there. Burley misses. And here's the delivery. He watches the 1-1 pitch, takes a fastball, strike two. That's a good, hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another one now. Hot shot towards the hole. And he's out at first. Good hustle by the pitcher getting off the mound. Well, that's a good heads up play. You, know, you have to know the hitter and his speed. Don't hesitate. Get over and beat him to the bag. First pitch is a cutter. Looked at 0 and 1. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. Hit sharply towards the hole. And he steps on first. That's the second out. And Friday's batting. Base is empty and two down. Strike one. And Burley gets it by. Called strike of the count will go to 0 and 1. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. Swing and a line drive. And out. Pitcher makes a nice play at first base. That was a nice play. Saw the opportunity at first. Didn't waste any time. And Beckham's in the box. He's going to start the second for the home team. Number 15, Gordon Beckham. This is a swing hit in the air. And the first run of the ball game. Wow, it comes with a solo home run and a 1 0 lead. Well, that's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. And the pitch taken for a strike by Rios. And the home run there, Steve. The pitcher's going to have to be very careful now. Well, that's right. Damage control is critical. You don't want this inning to get out of control. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. Rung him up. Strike Number three. 12. Count that one as a cake. It's going to be Brzezinski. There's a swing. Line drive. Center field. And it gets down. The streak is on. That's going to bring Joe Greedy up. And a chance here to check out the league's batting leaders, courtesy of State Farm. Now we see some tremendous hitters on this list. Guys who understand how to make good contact at the plate and get the good part of the bat on the ball on a consistent basis. You'd love to see how Joe Creedy's career would have played out if he didn't have so many back injuries. Here's a guy that, that can hit the ball out of the ballpark. He's one of the better third basemen that you'll ever see in baseball in his career. But the fact that he's had all these injuries, but let's see if he can stay healthy and put together a good one. And it starts here today with this game. Here it comes. He's a swing and a miss at the fastball. It's one and two. Boy, he's got great movement on that two-seamer. It's one of the best around. 
the one two pitch. Slider swung on and missed. Two down. That's a lot of movement there for pitch at 87 miles per hour. It's Jim Tomey at the plate. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. Towards the middle. And that gets in there. Tomey a base hit. Look at the on base percentage leaders for the month. It's brought to you by State Farm. In order to score runs, you have to get base runners, and these guys understand that. They find ways to get on. They'll take a hit. They'll get hit by a pitch. They'll take a walk. They'll do whatever they have to do. Now swinging and a shot towards second. Throws on to first, side is retired. They get that first run of the ball game here in the second. Something to work on. The White Sox lead one to nothing. Isaac Guillen taking a look at you right there. Second Things have been going Number right for him. His ball club today, uh, last half inning, they proved productive. Now they're looking to expand that lead. It's taken for a ball. Bottom dropping out on that burly pitch. That two-seam fastball is such an effective pitch. One, because it gets ground ball outs. But two, it sets up his other pitches. I come able to pull that one in. Rank-wise now, let's take a look at where the Minnesota Twins sit in the American League. Fifth in batting average. Fifth best for hits. And they're in the top 10 and on base percentage, which is a big part of their offensive production. Getting guys on base is critical to a team's success in scoring runs. Ball. Here's the 1-0 from Burley. Great one. On the outside corner, one and one. Well, if he could throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. Hit in the air to left center. And it's in there, base hit. At and that's plate. going to bring Denard Spann to the plate. Right well, he did his job right two. there, getting on base. Denard now with one out, Spann. let's see if they can move him around and get him in scoring position. First pitch to Spann. Right and Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. Well, this guy's changeup is so good that a lot of hitters almost forget about his fastball, but it's that speed differential that makes it so effective. Swung on, hit sharply to first. One, back to first, not in time. Not quick enough on the relay. He makes a nice play to get the lead runner at second base with a strong, accurate throw. Good footwork. They just couldn't get the double play. Hit hard on the ground to short. Throws to first in time. That's three down. Some good work, Mark Burley. He continues to dominate through three innings. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored, top five. Here's the first pitch. Ramirez will foul that one away. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. Hard ground at a short. Picked up by Hardy. And so Ramirez retired. Let's take a moment to view the league's leading home run hitters from our State Farm leaderboard. Well, it's such an asset to an offense when you hit the ball on the ballpark, and these guys are clearly so important to their team. That ability to drive in a run from first base or to drive yourself in from the plate. And Paul Canerco to bat. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Here's the pitch. A swing line to left center. And it's starting to head out towards the wall. He's thinking extra bases. And he's in at second with a double. One up. Well, that's a pretty good pitch to hit right here. And he gets the good part of the bat on the ball. Now he's in scoring position with just one out. And it's Carlos Quentin in the box now. But leading the league in home run. He gets caught on that one. Boy, they didn't wait very long to go. Well, he went on the first pitch, and he didn't catch anybody by surprise as they looked ready for it. Good pitch to throw. The catcher gets him out. And they thought they had that pitcher red, and he was wrong. He watches the first pitch. That ends up in the zone. Strike one. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out. The guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Strike two. The strike two pitch, and Blackburn gets him. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling right now. That one's low. Quentin does not go after. They drove in a couple runs in the ball game last night. One-two pitch coming. This oh. one's grounded foul, wide of first.
Here's the delivery. Line fair down the line and right. And Quinton's got himself a base hit. That's going to bring Gordon Beckham up. Now breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average. First in hits. And he's also leading the league in home runs. That power bat, that ability to hit it out of the ballpark. A major power threat every time he comes to the plate. A runner on first with two outs. Mauer setting up. Well hit towards the middle. And he gets the force at second. That is a tremendous defensive effort. Well, they pick up a couple of hits in the inning, but do not score. White Sox one. The fourth inning. On camera, the, the shot Minnesota of Ron Gardenhire. And some good pitching Jordan last inning. Powell. He now hopes to get the necessary offense going, get him going in the right direction. Now the first pitch. Strike one. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. Look here, we're into the fourth inning right now, and as you start to flip the lineup over again, you know, they've only gotten two hits, so they're going to have to really evaluate what they should be looking for at the plate, and maybe they need to be a little bit more patient and make them work. Hit in the air to center field. That one gets down for a base hit. Now, That'll bring up Michael Kadai. Going around the league, the team's keeping their ERA down, courtesy Michael of State Farm. Kadai. Number one, the White Sox. The Red Sox in second. Third, the Mariners. Yankees, fourth. And at number five, it's the Angels. Now, when you lead the league in ERA, it takes a lot of pressure off the offense to score runs. Their pitchers have really gotten it done so far this year and allowed the offense to take some relaxed at bats. Kadaya swings, hits this one. And Kadaya has got himself a single. Fantastic chance here. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Stephen, looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the code. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. Pauses, and now the 1-0. A swing and a foul off to the right side. Here's the pitch. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And that's going to be another hit for them. Here comes Maurer for the plate. Now, Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. And they're also number one in ERA. Their pitching staff getting it done better than everybody else right now. You limit the run scored, you give yourself a chance to win. And they've asked for a time out here, and the pitching coach is on his way out to the mound. They've got to be considering a change right here. Time for a little heart to heart and get a sense of where this pitcher is. Bases are loaded and nobody out. Hardy settles in first pitch. Ball. It's taken for a ball. Bottom dropping out on that burly pitch. 1-0 delivery is a fastball in there. 1-1. I think the hitter was looking for something out over the plate that he could drive. They pounded a fastball down and in. First strike. It's scooped up. That's one. Over the first, he is safe. Almost a double play. Not quite enough time. Good pitch down low, Steve, but a better at bat. Well, he did a real nice job going down in the swing to get that low ball to be able to pick up. Hut shot towards the hole. And that ball gets through, and the runner's going to come on. So Minnesota continues their offense. Number 25, Alexi Casillas. Well, you see the pitch down in the zone a little bit, but he got a good piece of wood on it and drives it. What you like about that at bat is the discipline to keep the head in. Well, I'll tell you what, he changed locations, went down to the zone. It's a solid piece of hitting. Burley with a delivery. And that's hit Damon to field. And yet another hit there, seeing the ball well. Here's how the Central Division is shaping up late going. It's brought to you by State Farm. It's the White Sox in first. In second place, it's the Royals. In third, the Indians. Twins are fourth. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. On the ground to second. And he gathers this one. And that's in plenty of time for the other. And they get that run in. Good team offense right there. Get them on, get them over, get them in. 
Doesn't have to be the long ball. Out can score runs. And it's Denard Span. Just one player picking up after another, Steve. This is this is a good offensive shot. That swung on and hit. Quentin's gonna play it. And it's in there. The Minnesota Twins will score. And Casillo will also cross. Openings for this lineup offensively. Don't give it to them now because they are hot. First delivery to Young. That ball swung on, hit. Rios to field it. And there's the third up. Boy, a manager loves to see this. They strike for an enormous inning. Minnesota taking the lead here. Now we're seeing them put the heat on. And Alex Rios to lead off. Center fielder. Number 51. Alex Rios. And here's the first one. He got fooled on that one. Takes a cut at a ball down in the dirt. Here's the pitch. Hit hard to second. Out one away. Oh, look at the leaders in extra base hits, courtesy of State Farm. AJ Kurzinski. It's going to be Kurzinski. And for RBIs, he's one of the best in the league. One out, base is empty. First pitch on the way. Swing and a miss on that curveball. It's 0 1. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. Strike two. The strike two pitch, and Blackburn gets him. Boy, he just couldn't wait for that changeup to get in the strike zone. You can't try to chase it, you have to let it come to you. Down on strikes there. A nice piece of pitching work. And it's Joe Creedy now. Two outs, base is empty. First pitch to Creedy. He fouls that one off. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Creedy will lean in on that zone now. That ball is belted deep to left center field. Ball is on its way. Gone. Goodbye home run. Still down by three runs with that homer, but maybe some steam going here. I'm Gary, they need to continue to score, but already the White Sox have some momentum and they've drawn close. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Good pitch as he's late on that one. 0-1. Well, they're not all the way back yet, but they're closing in. And at this point, they here's a swing line drive down the left field line. Gone! That's a dinger! They wish that homer had been chased in a couple more. They'll take it, though, only down two. Uh, nice job by this offense to put the pressure on the pitcher. Now he has to throw strikes to try to get him out. Damon swings and misses for strike one. Look, Gary, they're doing what they need to do here right now. If you're going to come back, you've got to get base runners on. They picked up a couple runs. Moving closer. Ball. Third ball. Thought he had him, but it's one and two. On uh, the game last night, he took advantage of a mistake pitch and drove it out of the ballpark for a two-run shot. Fastball ball swung on and missed. Side retired. So Nick Blackburn, he will head off. In the game, a total of three home runs surrendered. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Cruck, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Freddie Garcia is going to be pitching. They've decided it was time to make a change here. Well, they had to go to the bullpen much earlier than they anticipated, but the starter wasn't getting it done, and you can't let this game get away from you. And Maurer ready for the first pitch. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. That's one away. Late season baseball. Here's what the White Sox have coming up. They wrap up the series with Minnesota tomorrow. Following that, they face Miguel Cabrera series at home against the Tigers. That's a team they beat pretty soundly the last time around. That's a three-game series. 
Then they'll kick off a road series with the Oakland A's. The team they beat in the previous series between the two. So some difficult days ahead for them. Garcia gets set and delivers. Strike two. Strike two. Kadaya. That strike zone now. Tough spot for the hitter. Down 0 2. You got to protect right now. Oh. Loaned off for there, and it's 1 and 2 now. Well, he went with the changeup right there, but he kept it up in the strike zone. He's lucky the hitter laid off of that one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. Well, this is where you want to go with two strikes on the hitter. You want to go down out of the zone. He swings through it, couldn't make contact with that one. And Kubel's in the box. Lifetime, one for three on Freddie Garcia. First pitch of fastball, that's in there for a strike. The hitter lays off this pitch realizing you can't do much. When you get that kind of four-seam fastball down and away, it's tough to hit. A fly ball. And it's going to be Quentin. And that'll retire the side. Got by Rios. Well, Freddie Garcia gets a Here's a look at Ozzy. Ozzy Guillen. He knows he's going to have to get more innings like that last one and have some production to tie this one up. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. Great season. Top 10 in RBI. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. On the way. There's a swing and a line drive. That gets down. That'll put him on the tying run up. And that'll bring up Paul Canerco. Oh, Alexei Ramirez's season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Third in batting average. Third most in hits. And in the power numbers there as well. He's also ranked in the top five in home runs. So among the more elite power hitters in the league. Hit hard down the right field side. One away. And that'll hold the runner at first. Stepping up to the plate for the Chicago White Sox. And the uh, runner on Carlos Quinton will hit. He's the league leader in hits. First pitch to Quinton. Slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. The strike two pitch, and Blackburn gets him. Struck him out. That's number eight in the game. But just a great sequence of pitches right there, and it only took him three. Well, that's about as fine a job on the mound as you can get. Two outs and a man on first. And the first pitch hit up the middle. And that gets the tying run on board. And that's going to plate Alex Rios. Well, that's one of those pitches when it leaves the pitcher's hand. The manager tells him, oh, don't swing, don't swing. Oh, great job. Good piece of hitting. How he got his bat on that, I have no idea. Back up the middle. Gets down. The go-ahead runs on base. Here are your hit leaders for the month, brought to you by State Farm. Number 12, A.J. Perzinski. Just to drive it around, A.J. Perzinski. This is the time to be a hero. Team's down, but a hit right here, and you're right back in the ball game. Well, no question about that. A hit right here puts them right back in this game. It changes the whole complexion. Here it comes. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. 423 career average off Nick Blackman. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And in there, at least for a single as it gets down. And they score him. And he scores. That is the tying run. Openings for this lineup offensively. Don't give it to him now because they are hot. A couple of ribbies on that swing. Let's see the impact on our Pepsi WPA board. And it's Joe Creedy now. Well, this offense now really a renewed momentum, Steve. That's a good piece of hitting we saw right there. Swings, hits this one very high, deep to left center. Goodbye, home run good for three. They were tied, now up by three. That's a big knock. Stepping 
Well, Gary, White Sox couldn't be happier right now. They've gotten the hits they needed. They've taken the lead. They're looking to add on more, hoping to end up winning this game. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. That's it. Pretty well down the line and left. Off the wall and left. And that'll bring Johnny Damon to the plate. State Farm brings you the teams leading the way offensively over the last 10 games. Number one, the White Sox. Second, the Yankees. The Orioles third. Rangers fourth. And it's the Red Sox number five. First pitch on the way to Damon. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. Here's a look at the matchup numbers. 3-0-1 off the Twins. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though. He'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Well, the pitcher's way ahead. He's got some room here now to play with some pitches. Don't be too fine giving him something good to hit. They strike five times and now back in front. And if you were just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Crux, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. Hardy settles in first pitch. On the ground to short. And Ramirez feels the ball. So Hardy is set down. And Friday's batting. Single home run in his last at bat. Base is empty, one out. Called strike. Garcia got that one in. It's 0 and 1. Well, when you throw the fastball, that's where you want it to go. Now you can elevate a pitch next time around. Right Curveball taken for a strike and the count's 0 and 2. Now Przinski sets up. There's a swing in contact. This one to Damon. Catch is made. The hitter just out in front of this one, causing him to lift the ball to the outfield. The left fielder makes an easy play. Garcia gets set and delivers. Starts him off with one at the knees for a strike. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. Runs up to Bunt, gets this one down. Garcia throws on to first in time to retire the side. No runs, no hit. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. And one of the league's most prolific hitters in the top five. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0-1. Here's the pitch. And he squares around, gets down the butt. Miharis, throw one to first in time, one away. Well, he's clearly putting for him all the way here, but not able to get where he wants to, and they were able to make the play. Canerco at the plate. He leads the American League and runs batted in. Curveball swung on and missed. Now it's 0 and 1. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense is somebody they've really come to rely upon. Smash towards the hole. This one right in between them for a base hit. And this rolls all the way to the wall. Well, wow, that's hit number 15 in them for that one. And boy, you get 15 hits in a game. The manager can just sit back and relax and watch his team work. And a runner on, Carlos Quinton will hit. First pitch to Quinton. This one's grounded hard up the middle. And there's one. And there's two, a double play. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. Up next, it'll be the twin. And there's the skipper, Ron Gardenhire. And some good pitching last inning. He now hopes to get the necessary offense going, get him going in the right direction. Not a pretty pitch, no damage. Hit on the ground towards second. Back up over to Canerco. One away now. And it's Denard Span. He had a two-run single in his last appearance. Well, they find themselves behind right now, but not because of his at-bats. 
His two runs driven in have been a big part of this game. First pitch to Span. And Garcia gets him on the swinging first strike. Offensively now they've got to start to work the count. They've got to try to get base runners on and get things going here. I mean you've got swung on grounded towards the hole and that one's through for a base hit second hit in the game the 500 today. The Minnesota Twins. Center fielder, now Delman Young batting with the runner on first. First delivery to Young. Ground ball Creedy. Although Young is retired. You know, might have been able to get the out at second, at least getting the lead runner, but at least they got the sure out at first. Well, you feel the pressure mounting in the stadium right now, Gary. Young Joe Mauer at the plate. Outstanding hitter. Ball! Grounded out his last time through. Just missed with a fastball, 1-0. Oh. Well, they need a big two-out rally right here. Try to see if you can't reduce this three-run lead a little bit. Leave yourself something to do in the eighth and ninth, but try to peck away at it right here. Garcia gets set and delivers. Came with a circle change, 2-0, and he can't catch up, 2-1. Well, he clearly fooled him right there. He had him thinking fastball. There's a swing and a ground ball. And Canerco getting to it. He's out at first base. Nice play on the cover. That's a well-executed play right there. And Beckham's in the box. Had a single in his last time up. Number 15, Jordan Beckham. And the first pitch. It's 0 and 1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Strike two. Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. Good slider that time. Ruled the ball. One and two. Good spot there. Just down a little bit out of the zone. Tried to get him to chase. He wouldn't go for it. And that one swung on him, missed by Gordon Beckham. Very little movement on this pitch at 93 miles per hour. One out. And Alex Rios at the plate. And he starts Rios out. Has him out in front as he swings and misses strike one. The pitch. Couldn't pull the trigger in time. He's behind 0-2. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. He strikes out Alex Rios in the swing of the miss. Here's the slider coming right at you in KK. Get a better look at that. It's going to be Brzezinski. Two for three thus far. Base is empty with two out. Here's the first pick. Swing liner back up the middle. And in there for a base hit. He's three for four today. The Twins schedule. Let's have a look. One game left to the White Sox. That's tomorrow. Some home cooking again. They return to host the Oakland A's. Boy, there's some great competition in that set of games. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Then they stay home for the next series, the Cleveland Indians. So quite a few home games that we're looking to capitalize. Swings at that fastball and misses 0-1. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter, swung late. It's in there, strike three, Joe Creedy's gone. No runs on a base hit, they leave one man on at first. The White Sox eight, Twins five. And welcome to those of you just tuning in, 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crook. First pitch to Kadir. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. And he gets that one down. His second hit two for four today. Well, anytime you get your first hitter up in the inning, big things could happen. It opens up a lot of holes in the defense, and it makes it a lot easier to hit for the guys behind you. Hit sharply towards the hole and makes its way through. The tying run will come to bat. Now, now we take a moment to look at the pitching Minnesota staffs Twins. allowing the fewest free passes this month. Brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. The Royals in second. In third, the Twins. Fourth, the Red Sox. And for the Tigers, fifth.
You want to make the other team beat you. You don't want to beat yourself. And to do that, you have to throw strikes and limit the walks. And over the last month of the season, these two teams have been doing exactly that. To left center, this one's going to be fielded by Ramirez. That's one away. Well, they needed that one. That's the first out. They need to try to limit the damage in this inning. Hold on to that lead. And Brighty's batting. Trying again here. Just one for three thus far. First pitch. Called strike. Garcia got that one in. It's 0-1. Now trailing right now. Down three runs. You got one out here in the eighth. You got five outs left is the way you have to look at it. They need base runners. Get people on and hope somebody runs into one. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. Over to Canerco. Now it's two away. And the run comes in. They decide not to throw it home there from third. I'm surprised. When the runner scores, I thought they had a shot at it. Alexa Casilla in a real situation right here to get something done for his club. Not a lot of time left. Not a lot of outs to work with. Focus here on every at-bat. Well, they're narrowing the lead late here in the game, Gary. And they're showing some fight left in those bats. And what you hope when you get a hit like that is that maybe you've got momentum starting to come your way because the game's not over. Well, you know what? They've got momentum going their way, and if they could just find a hole somewhere, find a way to manufacture a run, they could turn it all the way around. Strike three swung on by Alexei Casilla. No luck on that one. And to the dugout he goes, Freddie Garcia. Now time for the White Sox. This is their chance in the home half of the eighth. And Jim Tomei to lead it off. Number 27, Jim Tomei. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Didn't get around in time. 0-1. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. And that's a strike. Tomei's going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. You can't connect on that, Jim Tomei, up empty on a swing. Good chance to take a look at this slider right here, Gary. It's Damon at the plate. Took a call third strike in his last time up. Here's the delivery. Can't wait long enough for that one, and he starts out with the strike. Can't catch up with that swing and a miss, and it's now 0-2. Fastball got him two down. Well, you can hang laundry on that one. 94 miles per hour. Pretty good velocity, but that's pretty straight. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. Lifetime, 325 off Minnesota. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. He right threw in that slider right there. Got him to swing a little bit early. Got to be a little more patient with that pitch. And uh, that half inning finished with a strikeout. Three up, three down this half inning. Up next, it'll be the Twins. Quick look at Ozzie Guillen looking up. He's got his sights on a quick finish here. This one winding down. First pitch to him. Fastball is high. One and zero. Uh, pitching wise, you want to make them earn it. Force them to get a base hit right here. Force them to put it in play. Throw strikes. On the ground, two seconds. Over to Conerco. One away. Uh, one out here in the ninth inning. They still need two, so they need to get people on and advance base runners. Do what they have to do to get runners in scoring position and hope they run into that clutch base hit here. Nobody on base, one away. Garcia gets set and delivers. Swung and a ground ball to third. So the span is set down. Well, they need one more out. Defense ready, lining up behind the pitching, trying to get that big out, forcing them to put it in play and make the play. That one looked like he nearly keeled over trying to make that throw. Well, any throw, the key part of it is footwork, and he had good footwork right there. And that's a major league play right there. Oh. Young makes contact, fouled off. Oh. 
And a grounder is at the last out. Beckham. Oh. And on to first for out number three. And that's going to do it. During close games, you have to make the plays at critical junctures. That's what the White Sox did today, and it led them to victory. Now we award our Pepsi Clutch performer, Joe Creedy, the offensive effort is today. Well, you know, Gary, watching him in batting practice today, you can tell that he was getting locked in, and he proved that in this one with a couple of bombs to provide all the offense this team needed for another solid win. That's how you make a statement. And Steve, that ought to send these folks home now. Well, no question about it. They get the win in a close game. A lot of excitement and enthusiasm and ready for the next one. And that's going to do it for us here. For Steve Phillips, John Crock, I'm Gary Thorne. Take care.